Do I need to love a man's mind or a woman's mind to be with them? Here comes the question. Well, a lot of women will say they need to love the man's mind and men will say they don't need to because the men are longing for feminine energy that's not so mental. <laughs> and the women are looking for men who are more heart-centered and they're actually assuming that if, the, if, he, if his mind is beautiful, he will have more of a heart, he'll have more integration with his feminine. So I would say to you, it's not that you want his thoughts to all be like your thoughts and love his mind because he thinks exactly like you. It's that you want the design of his mind to thrill you. So what is the design about? <laughs> well, you know, I had this dream that relationships are actually based on uh, the shape of a mandala. They're, they're actually patterns that hook into each other. We hook into each other's mandala shape in a sacred way, or we don't. We undo each other's pattern. We don't actually fit uh, the puzzle of each other's magic uh, mandala shapes. So when you think of the, loving the design of, of your partner's mind, it's like, do they have a tendency towards bitterness? Do they have a tendency towards self-pity? Do they, are they constantly um, feeling sorry for themselves or, or vindictive or vengeful or <laughs> jealous? You know, those are kind of grooves of the mind. Those are patterns of the mind. They actually show up in the mandala. So to love the shape of a person's mind is different than them having to have thoughts that you have exactly. But it's, it's, so what you want to do is be in love with the, sh the way the mind flows, the way the mind circles or, or is angular if you're an angular person, or is very logical if you're a very logical person, or is very heart-centered if you're a very heart-centered person. So it's the design of the mind. Yes, I would say, I mean, the older I get, I realize more and more how much chemistry uh, is built on something about this incendiary mind thing which then ig ignites all of the rest of the chakras for me but it is something a little different than this mental way of going about insisting each other all have the same thoughts or the same exact beliefs because then it's not very interesting is it on the other hand the design of a mind that is believes in say world peace and um, equality and women's rights and gay rights and uh, ethnicities as all one equality that design man, that mandala in a person's aura is very different than a person who's boxed in it with the idea that only their religion and only their viewpoint matters and you won't do well if you hook into that design because it's painful for you it, it doesn't have any relationship to your mandala if you're a more holistic person okay so first thing to do for all of us at least what my dream said last night <laughs> is uh, sort of get to know your own mandala uh, shape like draw some pictures what is the shape of your mandala what what how does your mind design flow does it flow or is it angular and and, and boxy draw some pictures and then imagine meeting somebody whose mandala actually hooks up with yours and you create a whole picture and then it changes a little bit when you meet each other your your design becomes more beautiful and you start to color in each other's um, <laughs> design <laughs> of beingness of mind of heart of soul okay pleasure the feminine today like I always say pleasure her first come on and the first thing to do is get a little more esoteric and metaphorical and mystical okay would you please we are mandalas we are mandalas we hook into each other's shapes and designs yeah